A former police officer is facing felonies after a months long investigation into the death of a three year old boy. Tonight only WCPO 9 News hears from the family that's been waiting for answers. Reporter Sean Delancey talked with them and prosecutors about what comes next. Three year old Jared Green's family say that they've been anxiously awaiting word, any word about what happened leading up to his death. They knew he'd shot himself in the head in a Park Avenue home March 30th, but they didn't know if anyone else would or could be held responsible. A grand jury leveled three felony charges against former Centerville police officer Benjamin Bishop, including involuntary manslaughter after his girlfriend's three year old son, Jared Green, shot himself in the head. Here's a three year old that can't speak for himself anymore. You know, we have no idea what really transpired that day. Jared's great uncle Jim Ingram says that the family's been in the dark during the investigation. Well, at this point, we're glad to hear something has finally came of this. You know, it's been two and a half months. We haven't heard anything. We didn't really know anything. Butler County Prosecutor Mike Moser declined an on-camera interview, but did say he didn't believe Bishop intended for the child to get hurt. He did, however, create a dangerous environment leading to his death by leaving a gun where Jared could access it. And that kid should have never been able to get a hold of it. Gun safety instructors we call it safety first. Like Rufus Johnson, say laws about safe gun storage are in place to send a message to everyone that leaving loaded firearms around kids is unacceptable. Do you think it is appropriate to prosecute people who have done that and then a child dies? Yes, sir. I think that because it's not the child's fault, it's the firearm uh, uh, owner's fault. So they are responsible for making sure that the firearm is put away correctly and safely. Moser says his office views Bishop as innocent until proven guilty, but they've brought every charge they can here and will, quote, prosecute vigorously. Time, time in prison. I mean, that would be, I mean, that, is that going to bring him back? No. But will that help to resolve some of this? Possibly. Now, I reached out to Bishop's defense counsel to see if he had any statements on his client's behalf, but as of right now, we haven't heard back. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News. Sean.